So you might have heard of these terms Q1 and Q3, but what exactly are they? So the definition of Q1 is this is the first quartile. And the exact definition is like a value where we have 25% of our data points are under. So 25% of the data that we have is under this value of Q1. Q3 would be the value where we have 75% of our data is under that value. Likewise, you might hear something also called Q2, which is the median of our data. And so this is where the value of this, we would have 50% of our data under this Q2 value. But mostly you hear about Q1 and Q3 because Q2 is just the median, 50% of the data points are under that. And so let's go ahead and look at the data set that we have here. So another way of thinking of Q1 is sort of being the median of the first half of our data. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. And then Q3 would be the median of our second half of data. So let's go ahead and try to find Q1 and the median in Q3 on our set of eight data points right here. So to find the median, we need to um, eliminate one from each end because we have an even number. So this can easily lead us to our median, which is going to be in between 10 and 12. And so we know our median or our Q2 value is going to be equal to 11. Right, so this is our median or our Q2. So to find Q1, we need to take the median of our first half of data. So we have eight data points. We're going to split this into four and four. Right, so this is our second half. This is just a quick way to find Q1 and Q3, the value for those. And so we need to find the median of these four data points to get Q1, right, the first half. So to find our median, we need to find the middle of 5 and 8. So 5 plus 8 is going to be equal to 13 divided by 2. It's going to be 7.5. So Q1 is going to be equal to 7.5. Right, so can we agree that the median of our first half of data points, 25% of our data points is going to be under this value? And that makes sense because this is 25% of our data, and we do see that is it is, in fact, under this Q1 value of 7.5. And same thing, we can do this over here to find Q3, right? So in between these two middle numbers, we get um, 13 plus 17, which is 30, divided by 2, and we get a median for our second half of data, which is Q3, equal to 15. So Q3 is 15 in our set of data here. And that makes sense, right? Because Q3 is the value where 75% of our data points are under that value. And we can agree that um, that is the case here. And so this does make sense. And so that's just the basic definition and sort of a quick way to find Q1 and Q3.